one of the really um, popular malware families out there is Luma. And in this analysis, of course, we see that it is malicious, although um, uh, in, 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 a, in, 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 a, in just, uh, I think it was this. Yeah. So this was the uh, wise total report when we first look at this um, a month ago. But it was, you know, none of, not all of the detection engines are uh, catching up this threat, uh, but there's also some level of behavioral uh, analytics that you can actually uh, make a use of, but just uh, to to talk about our analysis, hope I can show the re le relevant one. Yes, it's finally. Sorry. So yeah, this is the the sample that is relevant to the wire total page that we've shown, and in there we, we see uh, 19 detections, and in here we can see a lot of stuff, right? We were able to get that this is malicious, in fact, and uh, we, we classified this as Luma, right? Um, and there was like a couple of uh, different reasons for it. First, we were able to get some of the things uh, with our Yara rule match, right? And we have 16 different VMA threat identifiers that matched on 41 different occasions. And those behavioral um, techniques is actually some of them are really, really malicious and you would want to catch that. First, we, we catched it uh, with Yara and then the extract uh, uh, the configuration is visible here. The configuration extractors are kicked in and we were able to extract some of the juicy stuff from that is embedded far deep into the sample itself. And uh, I'm just going to show you in a second on what these you know uh, configurations are that the malware author put in. And we also have the antivirus match, but even if we ha didn't have any antivirus match or Yara rule match, we have all kinds of different uh, behavioral detection matches that will make us, that will give us enough reasons to consider this file as malicious. So in here, it's right into the memory of another process, which is you know something uh, of an injection. And it just modifies control flow of another pro uh, process against. And we've seen a couple of URL being you know, cold or hit uh, in, in here and our reputation engine was able to um, detect them. It also does anti-analysis tricks, which is one of the most important thing when it comes to Luma, it is really evasive. And that's why it, like EDRs uh, had a hard time detecting this smaller sample because it just does indirect system calls to to evade any kind of hooking based monitoring, right? You see the, the API call, that the function call names in here, and those are called indirectly. And uh, also it does a lot of anti-analysis tricks, high tracks, and just tries to steal a lot of data. And in some of the cases we've seen that it's Luma is trying to steal crypto wallets if, if it exists in, in the endpoint, right? And I mentioned the really important thing of malware configuration, which is the most important indicators of compromise when it comes to um, a malware, right? And after you classify the malware, probably what you want to have about this malware family is to extract the configuration with it, right? And in some of these cases, the dynamic analysis may not reveal all of the URLs or, you know, sometimes it's the keys or some something else, uh, a mutex or something like that. Um, but we were we are able to extract all of these information, even if we didn't see it in the dynamic analysis, right? So if it's packed, we unpack it by letting them execute. And at some point in time in memory, it has to unpack itself for the operating system to be able to read the file, right? And at that point in time, we take a dump of the memory and then we try to do all kinds of other, you know, uh, extractors locking into the sample, trying to find um, the, 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 uh, the encoded strings or maybe even encrypted strings or some other um, attributes extract them and just provide to you as an indicator of compromise where you can actually know that these URLs are really malicious and any kind of version of like that you see in your logs, in your SIEM, in your EDR, that means you might be uh, having a Luma um, being executed in some place in your organization, right? So continuing on, as you know, VMware platform is able to take screenshots throughout the analysis time and you see UAC prompt being um, pressed and of course, there's nothing changing in the screenshot, but if it was a ransomware that's being delivered here, you'll probably start to see some of the icons 
in the the shortcuts in the desktop is like start to change their their file names and make it weird, you know, and maybe some prompt from the 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 malware author to just pay this Bitcoin to this Bitcoin address and so on and so forth. And continuing on, we have the process tree, and there's not that much to show here, but there's a, a process that uh, starts and that there's a child process of a BitLocker to go.exe and the first process tries to modify the memory of the second process and there's all kinds of other stuff. We also have the Mitre attack mapping and um, and some other, other sample information. Uh, so this was the first sample that I'd like to cover today. Luma is one of the most popular malware families out there and you probably want to look, take a look um, further into it. It has a lot of evasion tricks. It has a lot of behavior that I'm not able to have a time to, to cover, but um, we have really good amount of IOCs. As you can see, the, 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 all of the configurations are being extracted and also marked as malicious. This is also some, a unique functionality to our platform as well. So we, we are able to mark the file that has been submitted as malicious. And we are also go beyond and see and also talk about the indicators that we've seen as malicious, right? And, uh, and as you can see, we filtered 88 other artifacts for you to not see and you know not create any noise to you. So if you wanted to take a look, you can unfilter it and just continue on to the next pages of it. And you can see this, uh, you know, some of the things that uh, that are looking suspicious or maybe even clean. If you wanted to take a, a further look and just do a more a deep dive analysis. 